Well, hello again, and welcome back. Today we're going to tackle an issue that people have had when trying to capture DocuCam images and get them quickly into your notebook software. Come up with a new way of doing that that literally gets that done in about five seconds per capture. With only five seconds per capture, what it really does is open up to the possibility of creating large collections of captures. For example, maybe an entire chapter in math or a textbook page. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let me show you what it looks like, and then I'll come back and explain how I did it, okay? So, I'm going to get to my DocuCam from Smart Notebook, and if you're not familiar with how to do that, I would suggest taking a look at my other video that goes into annotating DocuCam images on your smart board. It'll take about four and a half minutes to go through that, and you'll be up to speed, okay? So, I'm going to get to a blank page in Notebook. I'm going to go to Transparency. I'm now looking at a live DocuCam image. In this case, it's a... Uh, uh, a nicely enlarged math page, and you can time me, see if I can do it in five. Ready? Go. Boom, just that quickly, I'm now looking at my captured DocuCam image, right in Smart Notebook, ready to use or save or whatever, okay? How did I do that though? How was that so fast? Here's what's going on. I'm actually use, using an old, old, old Windows keyboard trick. There's a key on the keyboard that's actually, the funny thing is it's actually been there probably your entire Windows using career. And it's called the print screen button. That resides right over the insert key over near your numeric keypad. Here's an enlargement of that. So here's insert, P-R-T-S-C-N, print screen. Which is a little misleading in this case because we're not actually going to use it to print. But uh, here's what happens when you press that button. Two things happen. Press the print screen button, Windows takes a snapshot of the entire contents of the monitor, and if I pushed it right now, it would take a picture of what you're looking at here, and then it sticks it on the clipboard. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by the clipboard, you use it all the time. Anytime you cut or copy something, maybe text or a picture, and then later paste it in, you're using the clipboard. The clipboard is just a little piece of computer memory that is dedicated to temporarily holding things that you cut or copy. And then when you hit the word, and then when you hit paste, it just takes whatever's there, plops it into the program you're using. So in this case, I'm using that trick in notebook. So let's go back, let's capture another page. Here's that first one I captured. Let's get a new blank page and capture the rest of it. So I'm going to go back to my DocuCam. I'm going to adjust the page where I want it. Okay, that's about all I need right there. Now all I do is I hit the print screen button once, go back into notebook, and to paste it, I just go edit, paste, done. There it is. So now if I go to my page sorter tab, here's my first capture a few seconds ago, here's my next page. So I'm hoping this allows you to see how quick and easy it would be to create very large uh, collections of captures. The other good news is this solves another problem that a lot of people have complained about with DocuCamps, and I have the same complaint. Interestingly, after testing right around 20 different models, every single DocuCam manufacturer had the same problem. They haven't figured out that they need to widen the camera's angle of view so that you can fit an entire 8.5 by 11 page on there top to bottom without chopping off the tops. So, legitimate gripe, uh, I have the same gripe, but here's a quick fix. Let's go back and let's capture a new page, get back to our DocuCam. I'm simply going to zoom out, turn my page, and I know it's sideways, you're thinking, well, that doesn't help much, but we'll fix that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to hit print screen, go back in the notebook, edit, paste. Now all I have to do is just move it over a little bit, size it down. If I can hit the little button there, turn it, and just that quickly, I've got my entire 8.5 by 11 page in the notebook. Okay, so problem solved. All right, I hope you can uh, go back and try this. I think once you get the routine down, just print screen, notebook, edit, paste, done. I think once you get that down, you're going to use this a lot. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.